Hi everyone, welcome to A1.0x machine learning course. This is our first offering in Deep Eigen, and this also happens to be our first offering in the autonomous rank specialization. Uh, machine learning is one of the most popular branches of artificial intelligence or AI for short. AI has several branches, as I said machine learning being one of the most popular ones. The other branches are like mathematical optimization, game theory, heuristic search, graph theory, dynamic programming, etc. ML is a branch of AI or you can say ML is a branch of applied mathematics that enables machines to learn to do some non-trivial task that only humans are good at doing. And machine learning impacts almost every field today or every industry today that you can imagine. It is used heavily in industry 4.0 concept. It is used in IoT, uh, autonomous driving, robotics in general, which can include warehouse robotics, industrial robotics, autonomous drones, defense robotics, civil robotics, all these applications. It is also used heavily in computer vision, medical imaging, stock price prediction, weather prediction, etc. So you can see like almost any industry or any field that you can imagine today uses machine learning. Machine learning has different uh, has has different kinds of learning algorithms. Uh, these are like uh, unsupervised machine learning algorithms, supervised learning, or we, we can say supervised learning, supervised machine learning. Uh, in short, we can say just supervised learning. So there are unsupervised learning, supervised learning, reinforcement learning, and online learning. And in this course in particular, we are going to teach you unsupervised machine learning and supervised machine learning. We'll also cover to some extent reinforcement learning, but our coverage of RL or reinforcement learning would be minimal. We'll just introduce you what RL is and the further discussion about RL will happen in a different course, which is also part of Deep Eigen. So now you may ask who can take this course, right? So in this course, we are going to do two things. One, we'll cover the entire theory of machine learning very deeply so that after taking this course, you will have profound knowledge of the theory in machine learning. We will also cover every algorithm that we discuss uh, practically. So the assignments would be more practical in nature and this will ensure that while you are gaining uh, very deep knowledge in the theory, you also know how to apply every algorithm in real world. This course is designed for almost everyone. If you are a startup technical team and you are solving problems say in the field of let's say computer vision, robotics, autonomous driving, medical imaging or any other relevant field, right? This course is for you. This course will enable you to know not just how to solve existing problems or how to use existing algorithms, but if you are facing with a new problem, you'd be knowing how to design an algorithm to solve that new problem at your organization or, or at your startup. If you are someone in, in an organization where you where you are leading a very big engineering team, then this course is for you. Because by this course, you'd be gaining very deep knowledge in machine learning and you'd be gaining some ideas as to how to go about and solve some new problem, a real world problem that is open and challenging enough. If you are an academic researcher or if you are an undergrad or grad student, this course is again for you. Because in this course, we cover theory very deeply. And those who are planning to build a career in research, be it academic research or be it industrial research, this course is for you because it will help you to gain very deep knowledge in machine learning and it will perhaps help you in, in understanding the existing literature, existing algorithms and maybe help you to build a new algorithm of your own. This algorithm, uh, sorry, this course is also for enthusiasts, the AI enthusiasts who just want to gain some deep knowledge but as well as apply that knowledge into solving some practical problem. And that's why the assignments and the mini projects are very practical in nature. In this course, we are going to have two mini projects. And one of those mini projects will require you to actually build a road detection algorithm that you can actually deploy in some, in some robot or in autonomous driving to solve some real world like free space direction or road direction problem. So now the next part of the video will discuss what are different kinds of learning like unsupervised and supervised learning and then we'll introduce you, introduce you with some of the notations and some of the examples uh, so that you get a better understanding as to what this course is going to present to you.